Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discuss about the topic is input, output and import things how we can able to use into our Python. See basically this one what will happen use print function to output data to the standard output device. We can able to print some value into that here. What is the output formatting means? Sometimes we could like to format our output to make it look attractive. This can in this can be done by using that string dot format method. This method is visible to any string object. And if using a x equal to five, y equal to ten, we are going to print it some parentheses place. Then we can able to print it. Because the parenthesis will indicate the x of the value and y of the value like that it will declare. And we can able to use that format and x comma y. It will define the format of that value to the string then it will print it. The curly brace word will be saying that the placeholder type. Means there is no value inside that but it will treat as a x value. It will treat as a y value. Like that, it will uh, runtime. It will take the value and it will provide into inside the braces. You can able to print n number of kind of values using the format of that particular string. What is Python input? The value of the variable was defined harder code into the source means the allowing flexible of we might want to talk the input format of the user. We have the input function to allow us. Then only it will do that. Input means there is a console is presented. Now we can able to see there is a this one I'm going to specify. And I'm going to be using this one. And I'm printing for now. Okay, now if I'm going to run it will ask you that enter a number then i am going to using for 50 if i enter then it will print for the number means it is accepting for program time runtime it will ask some value to accessing some method place or function place or class place module place it will accessing the value that moment we can able to use this output one Okay, and import is nothing but if you are doing for mathematical operation or JSON related operation or Selenium related operation, then we required for importing that particular packages related information like Python, uh, mathematical related or uh, what you can say JSON related or XML related. Uh, sorry. Uh, any kind of value if you are going to doing some operation then that moment some import session means to working for json related we need to import some packages then only we can able to work that moment this import session will come and we can able to use it uh, imagine there is a mathematical import session and you can able to see the import this particular one it will say that this is related to math one and you can able to run and see the pi value what exactly it is present that value will present okay you can use the import some specific attributes and functions only using the form of keywords okay and that is a form math import session this is a one previous we i import only for import pi right it's not a recommendation recommended method type import math but you can able to use from math input pi like that if you declaring that that also it will work out the same both are same it's not a much different both work as expected only okay this is a format of, of input output and import sessions i hope you enjoyed if you like this video, please like me please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you